Well, would you looky here? It's our old friend Timmy. Hello there, Timmy. Oh, hello. It looks like you've been busy, Tim. What have you been up to? Well, I've decided to become a biologist. Ha <laughs> ha, I can tell from your lab coat and glasses. But Tim, you're a biologist. What do you study? You know, I haven't figured that out yet. I've always really liked fish. Why don't I just study those? Great idea. The study of fish is called ichthyology, and the people that study fish are called ichthyologists. Let's get you down to the lab where you can study fish with your own eyes. Whoa, that was fast. Indeed it was. Now that you're here, take a look in the tank. Do you notice anything different about the fish in there? Make some observations. I mean, they all look different, but they seem to be acting the same. Maybe you should look a little closer. All of the fish in that tank belong to the category Osteichthys, meaning bony fish because they have calcified skeletons. Even though most Osteichthyans share the same anatomical structures, they can differ greatly in their behavior and diet. This zebra perch, for example, eats algae and has a mouth designed to do so. This scorpion fish, on the other hand, is an ambush predator with highly effective camouflage and venomous spines on its back. Fish like this kelp bass and this ocean whitefish mainly propel themselves through the water using the large fin in their back called their caudal fin, whereas this senorita mainly uses the two front fins called pectoral fins. Hey, that's pretty cool! But where are the sharks? Sharks belong to the category chondrichthys. Instead of having calcified bones, they have a flexible skeleton made out of cartilage. Sharks aren't the only members of this category. This category can also include skates, rays, and even chimeras. Like the osteichthyans, they can vary in their size and shape and behavior. Like this very tiny leopard shark, or this massive whale shark. The last category of fish are the agnathans. The defining characteristic of an agnathan is the fact that it lacks a jaw, like this lamp right here. So Timmy, what do you think about ichthyology now? Well, I guess ichthyology isn't so icky after all. <laughs> <laughs> you must have dozed off in that last part about the lamp ring. Oh well, Tim, good luck.